The very first boss race in DKR is Tricky the Triceratops. We have to race Tricky twice, and each race normally takes upwards of 55 seconds to do. But, thanks to a checkpoint manipulation glitch named Tricky Skip, we can cut that time down to just 13 seconds per race. This glitch ends up saving around a minute and 30 seconds in the grander scope of Adventure Mode RTA. Performing the skip is simple. When the race opens, hold right on the joystick along with B and R. Then press A as Get Ready is fading out to get the blue boost. This will cause you to do a quick U-turn. All we need to do is drive behind the starting line to this corner. Once we've touched the corner, we'll continue to play the race normally. And hopefully, you'll be told you're going the wrong way. Continue driving, and you'll win the race. No, no, no. Wrong way. Wrong way. Oh. This is pretty much what every single runner is looking for when they race Tricky. Thank you, game. No, no, no. Nice. Let's go. No, no, no. Wrong way. Yes, dude. Let's go. No, no, no. Look at this. Unfortunately, it is not as simple as it seems. This corner is not just magic. Races in DKR work off a checkpoint system. It's how the game knows whether or not you're going the wrong way, and if you have completed a lap. There are two checkpoints overlapping in this area specifically. Checkpoint 41 and Checkpoint 42. Using the DKR practice ROM, we can observe that every frame the game is running, the currently occupied checkpoint value will flip back and forth between one of these two values. Whatever the value is currently set to when the player leaves the overlap area will be used to determine their progress in the race. If you leave the area with a checkpoint value of 41, you will be told you're going the wrong way. This is proof that the trick was successful. If you have a checkpoint value of 42, however, the trick will fail, and you will need to try again. This is a basic explanation of DKR's coin flip. People often call it that because, in an ideal world, whether or not you get the trick is about a 50-50 shot. However, it's not literally a coin flip. There are many other factors at play here that make your chances of success the last try, if it doesn't work, I'll reset. mostly below 50%. Not a fun guy. Some extensive research has been done to try and find some way to make Tricky Skip more consistent, and some new information has come out of that. To explore it, we need to understand what these overlapping checkpoints actually look like. Here is the corner from above. Checkpoint 42 looks something like this, while checkpoint 41 looks something like this. Here is the overlapping area we have access to. Note that there is one point here where the edges of the two checkpoints are closest together. This is the ideal spot to exit the overlap area. The less space there is between the overlap area and the rest of the track, the better chance we have to leave the overlap on a frame where the checkpoint value is 41 which will allow us to skip Tricky successfully. Your speed is important, too. You want to try and touch this point and leave the overlap with as much speed as possible. Plus, if you happen to miss the point by a little bit, having higher speed maximizes your chances of skipping the checkpoint 42 regions from one frame to the next. With this understanding in mind, it becomes possible to perform more optimal Tricky Skip setups by using a visual cue. Looking at the texture on the sloped wall, look for these two lighter specks of color. Below this point, you'll see one darker splotch. This is the approximate area you want to aim for. There's a lot to keep in mind here. 
Remember, all aiming for this point on the wall does is shift our chances of success closer to 50%. Going lower than this point will only slightly lower your success rate. But it's also important to know that being higher than this point actually significantly decreases your chances, so don't climb too high on the slope. In the end, it's still likely you will need to reattempt Tricky Skip a few times during a run. Luckily, that's not hard to do, it just loses a bit of time. Simply turn around and try again. Each repeated attempt can take anywhere between 6 and 10 seconds to do. Sometimes we get wonderfully unlucky, and Tricky Skip simply won't work. In this case, it's important to pay attention to the race timer. In both Tricky 1 and 2, Tricky will win the race around 1 minute and 20 seconds. If you're going to continue the run, or are racing another runner, you should pause and restart the race before Tricky wins. Otherwise, you'll be losing a lot of time before you can attempt Tricky Skip again. Hopefully, both times you race Tricky, you'll get this trick on the first try. This saves a lot of time. But first try is never totally necessary for a good run in 100% or any percent or any adventure mode category. Of the top 5 current 100% speedruns, only one of them has double first try tricky, and that's the 4th place run. It takes a lot of tries before you lose to tricky, so keep trying. There's a lot of run left after tricky is done. Check the description below for updates on this tutorial. You can also find more reference materials for this video, as well as links to DKR64.com and the Discord. Thanks for watching.